What's going on guys, in this video we're going to be breaking down part 4 of our New England Patriots Gun Doubles Y Flex uh, mini scheme. I think this offense is a lot of fun, it's really simple and you can actually mirror a lot of real NFL concepts from this passing play or this passing formation in terms of the routes and things you can do from that. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel I want to encourage you to do so. Uh, my name is Cody and I put, post videos on YouTube every single day that can help you become a better Madden player both on offense and on defense. I give away free schemes all the time and free tips and strategies pretty much every single day. Now if you are enjoying this series and you want to get my entire New England Patriots offensive guide then you can get that in the description i actually broke down the entire playbook i broke down every formation in depth it was over 400 pages of material on this playbook if you want to do a deep dive into new england because i think this is going to be the best playbook in madden 22 you can start doing that right now in preparation for next season and a lot of the concepts are going to transfer over so um, if you want to start getting ready for madden 22 right now i would recommend the new england patriots guide I think that New England is going to be the best playbook for a number of reasons because of the trips tied in, the bunch, the U trips, the ace slot, but also because of this formation right here. I think this doubles wide flex is really underrated, and uh, we've been in the midst of a series kind of giving you some money plays and some just some really just an entire scheme and entire offense from it. So, uh, anyways, we're going to talk specifically today about this under Y option. And I got to be honest with you, this was probably my favorite play in the formation. I'm not saying it's the best play. I'm just saying it's my favorite play, okay? So under Y option and um, really simple setup. Really, really simple setup. Um, now this is really the biggest reason why we need uh, Hot Rod Master. We really, I, I personally would tell you that you just need Slot Apprentice, but typically if you, you know, Hot Rod Master is what most people have anyways in Mutt. If you're playing regs, you don't have to do this. Um, you can just run this play as is and just put the running back on a wheel and call it good I'll show you that real quick. This is a non hot route master version of this play So if I do this right here now again in this offensive scheme What we've been seeing over and over again is their user is going to climb with the tight end typically when someone defends spread This is where they're gonna be with their user and they're gonna climb this scene. Okay, almost every single time and we want to force them to have to do that because we're going to attack over on the left side with this combination. But on this example right here, this out route to triangle is really, really good. As you can see, it's an easy read and it beats the manual coverage. Even though that curl flat, my zone drops are at 30, 10, and 10. So even though they have a 10-yard curl flat zone and they've passed committed, they've done everything they're supposed to do, we're still able to pop that in route. The main reason why is because of the under route that Mike Evans is running. It's one of it's honestly it's probably my favorite route in the game because it um, I just love love the levels concept and that's kind of the key route from levels. Um, and we're gonna get into that in just a moment, but it's 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 a vertical stemming route, so it's gonna pull a lot of zones to him. You see how he pulls him to him and it allows me to pass lead up and out outside that out route. Okay, so that's why I like this play so much. Now. The rest of the setups are gonna be done with Hot Route Master. Um, if you don't have Hot Route Master, we really have Hot Route Master for this one play, honestly. I mean, you could run this offense without Hot Route Master, um, but I just find it being a little bit more effective if you can have Hot Route Master for this post route. Because again, we're getting their user in the habit of using the tight end. On almost all of our initial plays, that's the person that he really needs to kind of lock in on. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put triangle on a post route, okay? And what you're going to notice is, and then we're going to put the running back on a flat, okay? So if their user goes to the right at the snap, then you're just going to pass lead inside this post, just like that. Really easy, really, really simple, okay? Even with a 10-yard uh, yard hook curl, they're still not going to be able to defend this. Now, if they do something like this... Um, and I'm just telling you from my experience, it's very likely they're going to use the tight end. Very, very likely. Um, just because of all of the running you can do from this, all the other things. So if they do that, look at this pocket. You can throw that really easily. Now, a dig route, you can throw a dig route. But a dig route does not work as well as a post. So if you don't have Hot Route Master and you just put him on a 10-yard uh, dig route, 
the problem with this is it messes up the late progression, uh, which we're gonna get to in just a minute. But let me just show you the initial progression that we're talking about. So if they go to the tight end, uh, if they go over here with their user, you, there's still this window. So I can still pop this right there, okay? And I'm just telling you from experience, it's a tight throw. You're really watching their user. If their user goes to the, the dig route, which it is likely, especially if they've seen us run like slot cross a couple times or whatever, but they're going to defend this like it's flood or wise sail. So let's say they go over to the, the post, okay? That's where this tight end route is really, really handy. Um, it's basically just a simple option route, but it gets in such a weird little pocket of the defense. It's going to be, he's going to go out and then curl right there. That route is so, so, so good against man and zone because against man, he's just going to go on an out route. And against zone, he's going to sit. So let's talk about, um, let's say they have a yellow and a 30-yard cloud, and then they're user in this post. They're really, and again, guys, I'm just trying to give you, you know, best case scenario for the coverage um, and how they're going to try to adjust to this. So now they make that adjustment, and now what you'll see is this running back table route is wide open. Now, if you don't want to run a table route, you can run a wheel route. You can also, um, the route that I really like from this, especially, specifically for like pressure and, you know, if they're gonna blitz you and stuff, um, I really like to put the block and release to the tailback. So, and the reason why I like that is because of the, the type of flat route that it turns into. It's just a little shoot route. And I love how this really pulls the zones out of the way. And as you can see, you go right to your tight end. Now, um, what you're creating on this left side is a high-low read between your post route and your little um, under route, okay? So if their user, let's say their user stays on the tight end, so he stays over on this side, okay? Then what you're going to get is you're going to get this under route. And this under route is really good late. So maybe he like starts left, goes right, does a bunch of stuff, right? This under route is un gets under every yellow, as you can see. Easy five yards, easy low ball. That's another read that I really like. So the other thing that you can do with this under route is let's say that um, let's say that they on the on the left side. I want you just to watch snap and I'm just gonna lowball it right there now I will tell you that the purple zone does a decent job at kind of sitting on it but like out of cover two if they were to run and I don't think they would but if they were to run like a cover two to try to get um, some extra underneath defenders right maybe something like this and they're running, they're running like cover two. Oops. Like that. Okay. Now they've got a little bit extra help over the middle. Um, this is really good against the yellow zones. So if they're running, the purple zones ironically play it a little better than the yellows do. But the yellow zones, you'll see, he's just going to come right underneath it. Okay. And it's, if you low ball it, it's normally pretty good and pretty consistent. Now against man to man, this play is still really sound. Um, and I'm going to talk about why here in just a second. So you'll see if I try to press the tight end, here I got him to press, but I just want you to watch. This tight end is going to pretty much just work man-to-man -man, um, on this quick, cut, quick out cut. So you'll see he's going to get this nice little out cut, and it's just a possession catch. He's just going to body him up. Um, but honestly, I, I have a lot of success with this, um, with this route to the tight end. So you'll see, um, especially if he doesn't get pressed. So if he doesn't get pressed, it's like almost every time money. Easy read right there. Now, again, where's their user going to be? Um, typically, their user is going to climb with the tight end. If their user doesn't climb uh, with the tight end, then you throw the tight end. If he does climb with the tight end, which is more likely. Um, so here he's going to climb with the tight end. We're going to have this yellow or that zone over there. Then you can work your backside. So you could work this levels concept. You can hit the square receiver right on the end cut, or you can hit the triangle um, 
you can hit the triangle uh, post route. So let me just show you. See, it's such a simple little play, but so effective um, right there. Okay, now I wanna give you one other version of this, this concept. And this is if you want to threaten the seams a little bit more. Um, this one's really good for threatening the seams. Now again, you have to start with the presupposition that it is very likely they're gonna climb that seam with their user. But if they don't, then you have your tight end. So uh, what, what that would look like is basically we're just gonna streak the tight end, curl flat, concept the other two. So this concept right here. This is where I like to motion the tight end. Um, you can motion the tight end out if you want to. Um, do know that you're gonna move square in. But what you'll see is if they're not paying attention to that tight end, it's a, just an inside pass lead and you've got a dot. Okay, so, so that's an option. That's, that's all I'm saying, it's, it's an option. One last little, um, and you have that, and then obviously you have the curl flat concept. And then again, this is gonna do a better job because their user has to follow him, all right? He has to follow him. If he doesn't, you're throwing to him. But then the next, uh, the next option that you can go to is you could block the, you could actually block the running back and just run this simple concept like this. Um, this is rather, I mean, it's just really simple. Uh, there's really nothing else to it. Um, but you've got quick reads over there, it's gonna hold them, and then you're gonna throw this right in behind it. So this levels concept can be ran in a lot of different ways. Um, I just think the way I showed you first is really effective. The circle receiver, um, we talked about, we didn't talk about yet, like what happens late in the play. So let's say that, you know, like the play breaks down and let's just say for whatever reason they go and they take this underneath route the square um it's not likely that they'll do this but if they do this um this post route gets in a tight window right there on the sideline you can't hit that that's in result of the the streak and the curl combo coming underneath everything so you've got that you can hitch the tight end if you want to um if you don't want to run the the route the way that i've got it set up the reason I like this, though, is let's say that they have a yellow zone on the back side, which this could be a, they, I mean, they could do that. If they have a yellow zone um, on the right side of the formation, this thing will still kill it. So watch how it gets outside, and then I can just outside pass it. Now, David is doing some David, Levante David is doing some Levante David stuff. This is where you might want to move him. You see how I just moved him outside a little bit more, um, just to give me a little bit more space. And this backside, it's not a big deal that they're compressed like that. That's really not a big problem. It might even help the concept. But what you'll see is this yellow zone's not going to be able to get out there now. So see how it just kind of sits right there? Now, of course, the, the 10 yard curl flat went crazy. But my point is, you, you can, if, especially if you have Gunslinger, Brady's kind of, Brady's kind of a problem. Um, Brady's like the biggest problem because he doesn't have Gunslinger. And Gunslinger is just, that's just how it is this year. You have to have Gunslinger. Um, so if I had Rodgers, I could easily fit this in. But just right there, that's what I'm looking at. So so this play is honestly, it's just, it's just super simple, but it's super, super effective. Um, there's a lot you can do with this too. So for example, let's say you wanted to run, um, like this is another thing you could do. So if you wanted to run three by one, um, this is actually a really good, a really fun little concept. But basically all you're going to do is you're going to take Godwin, put him on a post, and then you can take Brown and you could, you know, do whatever. You could um, you could put him on a flat. You could put Godwin on a corner and Brown on a post. This concept right here, right, that like you're seeing me do with a streak and a ghost route, this concept's a lot of fun to run. This is a really fun levels concept um, because they have to climb the streak to the tight end because, again, the way people are going to defend this, you're going to get something like this. And they just have to climb. I promise you they have to climb that fade. They have to climb the tight end route. And so it just opens up everything on the opposite side. You can throw the corner. You can throw the post. And then the levels concept. So this is just a lot of fun, this, this play. There's a lot of things you can do with it. But what I love most about it, if you wanted to run a traditional flood, you could too. Um, again, I didn't, I didn't hit on that. Um, if we wanted to run a traditional flood, we could. Um, again, I'm just telling you from experience they're going to use with the tight end, which is not bad. It's just the truth. It's what they're going to do. So, so what you could do, 
um, is you could take the tight end and put him on a corner route and then basically run like a sale concept. This is something you could do. Um, I'm not saying you should do it, okay? I just don't think it works. I'd rather just run sale because um, you see that they're going to kind of run into the same area. I like that option route, that little curl. Um, I either like to use that option or I like to use a fade to really pull the user deep and then now this. So it's either going to be this setup right here, this setup, or, or we're going to do this where we simply do that, okay? Um, that th This play is can be ran in several different ways, but I find that this right here is the best way to run it um, just because this triangle route just gets so, so good. Uh, it, it, because now what you're doing is you're gonna force their user to go from the right side of the field to now he's gonna have to start working back on the other side. Now, if you run this concept, another little trick of the trade is if you run this with the ball on the left side, um, you're just gonna have more space. That's all it is. So, and let me just, the zones do certainly play different depending on the hash mark that you're on. So um, let me just show you this real quick before we take off. The reason I'm sharing, sharing this with you is because once you watch the X route, you're gonna see that the yellow goes a lot more to the right in that. So that's just something to kind of be mindful of. But yeah, everything else is still pretty much the same. So thanks for watching the video. If you wanna get the full, New England Patriots offensive guide. It's in the description. I think it's the best offense in Madden 20, Madden 21, Madden 22, Madden 19, Madden 18. It's been the best offense for years, and it's going to continue to be that just because of the formations and the routes it has. So thanks for watching this, and if you want to get my entire New England Patriots offensive guide, you can get that down in the description.